Weekend shooting at a DeKalb County apartment complex ends with a 25-year-old woman dead, and now her family is desperate for answers. As Fox Eyes Joy Dukes reports, the family is offering a reward of their own, hoping that someone will come forward. Yeah, loved ones of the 25-year-old victim tell me they are devastated by this sudden loss and they are struggling to comprehend why this happened. Now, while police are looking for the person responsible, they're now offering a $10,000 reward for those answers. I don't want wish this pain on no mother. For Courtney Parker and her family. I just can't believe it. It's unreal to me. It's so unreal. This Memorial Day weekend was an especially difficult one to get through knowing her daughter's killer is still out there. Okay, today is a holiday, but meanwhile, while their family celebrating holiday, we're, and we're grieving. DeKalb County police say 25-year-old Jemiah Parker was one of two people shot inside this apartment complex on Waldrop Trail late Friday night, an incident they believe may have been drug-related. thought it was murder. I'm not sure why. What happened on none of that? We're not familiar with these apartments. We don't live nowhere around here. Two residents tell Fox 5 they heard the gunshots and came to her aid before EMS arrived. I saw her laying on the ground out the car and the other um, gentleman was administering chest compression. Started resuscitating her and kept telling her that she needs to live, stay awake, and then uh, until the paramedics came. Parker was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Loved ones described her as a good person. They say she worked at Amazon and would do anything for her family, which includes Atlanta rapper Amaretta. Jemiah was a very loving, humble, honest, hardworking young woman, and she really didn't deserve this. After holding a balloon release Sunday, family members gathered Monday at the place where she took her last breaths in hopes it would lead to more information. She was shot multiple times. It just, we need answers. Answers they're now offering a $10,000 reward for. They say it's the only way they'll get closure. There's no word on funeral arrangements at this time. We reached out to DeKalb County Police for an update on the investigation. We're still waiting to hear back. In DeKalb County, Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right. Shalom. All right. We heard the story, the report. Okay. This young woman. Right, shot and killed down there in DeKalb County, Georgia, outside of Atlanta, I guess you would say. All right, okay, over the uh, so called holiday weekend. All right, first and foremost, let me give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching this truth that's gone all around the earth. Shalom to the hope of the elect out there. It's your brother, Atajwan Bayal, back with another lesson. All right. And so uh, we'll go through this report a little bit. All right. It says here, Atlanta Daily World. All right. Atlanta rapper Amaretta and family offers $10,000 reward in shooting death of 25-year-old woman. Okay. And I guess this is the female rapper down there. Okay. But we, we heard the report from uh, the Fox News channel down there in Atlanta. And uh, we can't stress it enough. You know, it seems like old hat. All right. That the men of the Lord continuously warning Israel. Right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are consistently warning you. Okay. About the trappings of this world. All right. And that you need to repent because we're in a day and age now. The Lord is pouring out judgment. Okay. And anybody can get it at any time. All right. You're not going to, you know, skate around much longer. Okay. Uh, in this world. Okay. Thinking that, you know, you could somehow hide yourself from the judgment of the Lord. So let's read a little bit about this article. We heard the report, but let's let's read a little in this article here. It says, Amaretta and her family are searching for answers. Following the shooting death of 25-year-old Jemiah Parker over the, over the Memorial Weekend, Parker was shot and killed at the Woodroffe 
Trail Apartment Complex in DeKalb County. The family is offered a $10,000 reward for information on the suspects. All right, two residents at the apartment complex heard the gunshots and rushed to help Parker before EMS arrived at the scene. EMS workers gave Parker chest compressions, but she was pronounced dead after being rushed to the hospital. On Monday, the family and friends gathered at the apartment complex to honor the life and legacy of Parker, who worked at Amazon and often appeared in videos alongside her cousin, Amaretta. They released balloons during the ceremony, according to Fox 5. That's pretty much all we need to really get out of this. You know, and, and Poe Jake, you know, you just, you think all of these, these gimmicks and antics and theatrics that you pull after a person has been judged, you know, really mean something. You know, releasing balloons and, you know, setting up a, a, a makeshift memorial uh, at the spot where their blood was spilled and all this kind of stuff. You gotta stop all that, okay? You know, these, these, these people who receive this judgment, you know, um, from, from the hand of the Lord, you know, you wasting your time, you know. If you had any sense, you would be talking to them while they were alive, okay. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get into a few scriptures because this book that we read, okay, is, is, is a book of prophecy, okay, for the children of Israel. All right, and if the Lord is not pleased with the way that you're living your life, okay, He's not pleased with the fact that you discard His word, right? That you mock His servants, the men of the Lord, all right, and that you fashioned yourself to the ways of this world, all right, okay. Let's go over here to uh, Zephaniah three and five. And it reads, the just Lord, Yahweh, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. And if you saw a few pictures of that young woman, um, <clears throat> she looked like she could have potentially been in that alphabet soup community. Okay? You look through some of those photos uh, of the, uh, the the film, you see various people, you know, that look like, you know, that's the lifestyle that they have, all right? Okay, but nonetheless, judgment has gone forth on this young woman. This is Revelation 19, and we'll jump in at verse 7, and it, and it reads, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the lamb has come and his wife has made herself ready. That wife is the elect of Israel, right? Who are preparing themselves for the Lord and in particular the elect men, okay? The 144,000, all right? Going on to verse eight and it reads, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, Fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And we know that the saints are the Israelites. All right. Pursuant to Psalms uh, 148, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Verse 9. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true saints of the Most High. Verse 10. I fell at his feet to worship him and said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So these days that we're living in, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai prophesied of them, okay, of the times in which you're living. Okay, the things that you're going to witness, the things you're going to see, okay, how you're going to see false prophets, right, false teachers, how it's going to be a terrible time on the earth, a time like no other. And we can look at this time now and see that this is a very wicked and adulterous generation, right, a very, very wicked generation, okay, 
This is Matthew uh, 24 and 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of the wars and rumors of war, see that ye be troubled, so I can see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. But nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And we've read about these things in history, okay? And we've seen them to a certain degree now in this day and age, okay? And they're beginning to come upon us at a higher frequency or, 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 or at a higher rate, okay? Verse 10, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. <clears throat> okay, so you're starting to see that now where, the, where basically people just don't care anymore. Now, this is really going into uh, the times in which the men of the Lord will see this. And, 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 and many of our own people, many of our own families will turn against us, you know, so-called loved ones. But we apply this across the board and looking at the world, the spectrum of this world and seeing it all across the board, particularly here in Babylon the Great, where people have what you would say naturally lost their mind. They have lost their natural minds. Okay, now let's jump down a little bit. Let's see here to verse 21. And it reads, But then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for the what? Elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Right, and we're praying that First and foremost, we're part of the elect, okay? And we see that the Lord is shortening up these days. These days are flying by. But even as these days are, are going by us so quickly, there is so much happening in a day. There's so much wickedness going on in a day. And, 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 and with that, we see the judgment of the Lord playing out more and more each day. You see? So let's go on. I'm not going to make this real long, okay? Because our people are stubborn and hard-headed, and as it says here, rebellion, what? Of the most highest people, and that's our people. Hard-headed, stiff-necked, will not listen, will not hearken to the Lord. And in this day and time, no matter what city you live in, you see men of the Lord, okay, preaching. And that's how the Lord is reaching out to you, through these men, okay? So let's just jump in Isaiah 1, <clears throat> right here, verse 2. It says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Yeah, that's you. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today, okay? You've been, you've been reared, okay, in this society by Esau, Edom, to believe everything that they tell you, right? And, 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 and you all are the biggest consumers of the wickedness of Esau, okay? Our people are just gone, all right? Two-thirds of them are just gone, okay? And that's what makes them two-thirds, by the way, okay? And you hear us say it all the time, but it bears repeating. You, we can never say it enough, all right? Verse 3, the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider our sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, right? And iniquity is sin on top of sin on top of sin on top of sin. A seed 
of evildoers, children that are corruptors, right? They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. And his anger is being poured out in these cases that, you, that you're seeing, where these people are being shot and killed and gunned down, all right? What they would say is a random act of shooting, right? Get hit by a straight bullet? No. The Lord guided that bullet to hit that person. Okay, if you want to say it that way. Okay? Because the Lord has something against them. Okay, they're unrepentant. You see? We'll read it again, verse 4. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are gone away backward. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. You see, our people have lost it, okay, and they believe and all the wickedness that they see. See, it's all it's all good until judgment comes. So they continue to smoke. They continue to eat abominable foods. They continue to lie. They continue to commit adultery. They commit. They they continue to to do all the wicked things. Be in that alphabet city uh, lifestyle. Okay. Continue to smoke blunts. Right. Sell dope. Use dope. All these different things. Then when something, as they see it, tragic happens, they on the news crying. Right? That's what we just saw. You know, they want answers. Give me a break. Psalms 81 and 8. It reads, Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee. O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me, there shall no strange God be in thee, Neither shall thou worship any strange god. I am the Lord thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel was none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsel. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat and with honey out of the rock should have satisfied them. You know, we could, as a people, as a nation, had everything had we done what? Follow what the Lord said to do go over to Deuteronomy 10. Okay? And we'll just fall in right here at verse 12. But it reads, And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? Right? That's a, it's a requirement. Alright? But to fear the Lord thy power. That's your first step. It's to fear the Lord. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today, you don't fear the Lord. You, 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 you people out there in the world, you have a, a, even a saying that say, on God, on God, everything I love, on God. That street vernacular, right? You see what I mean? So you don't have a fear of the Lord. Everything is a joke until it ain't funny no more. And now, o Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the heaven of heavens of heavens is the Lord's thy power, the earth also with all that therein is. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even ye above all people as it is this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. Right? 
Stop being rebellious. Stop being hard-headed. Verse 17. For the Lord your power is power of, of all God, so like of God's and Lord of Lords, a great power, a mighty, and a terrible, which regardeth not person, nor taketh reward. Yeah, you can't bribe the Lord. Just do what you're supposed to do. Right? Fear the Lord and, and, and try to stand clear of his judgment. Okay? Maybe we got one more here. This is Matthew 4. Now let's go up here. And 12. Okay? So this is Matthew 4 and 12, and it reads, Now when Yahushua heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee, and leaving, leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast, and the borders of Zebulun and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled that was spoken by Esaias the prophet, saying, Esaias is Isaiah, okay, and remember, we stated that this is a book of prophecy, okay? And Yahushai is the spirit of prophecy, okay? The land of Zebulon and the land of Nephthalim, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee, of the Gentiles, the people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region in the shadow of death, light is sprung up, and that light is Yahushai. Okay, if you have that opportunity with the internet and with all these lessons and live streams and camp videos and actual camps out there, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all across the nation, all across the earth. Okay? To come out of the darkness. All right, verse 17. For that time, Yahweh began to preach and to say, what? Repent kingdom of heaven is at hand, okay? You don't want to get caught out there where somebody has to offer $10,000 for some information, okay? Because you've been judged, all right? So with that, we're in the lesson right there, Lord willing, it was edifying, and you know, those of you out there who watch, okay, you're new in the faith and trying to build your faith up. You know, when you come out of the world, you repent. You know, have nothing else to do with it. All right? The Lord is, is, is pouring out his judgment. All right? Things are moving, beginning to move really, really fast. Okay? You don't want to put yourself in a situation where you are, I repent, and too late. Okay? So with that, I'll end the lesson right there. Give it all praise, honor, and glory unto your house. Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, double honor to the apostles and the great millstone. Shalom honor to the hope of the elect. I'll see you all again real soon with another lesson, Lord willing. Shalom.